Okay, <clears throat> this is Big Baby J. Another episode of Final Fantasy XII Zodiac Age. Now it's time to take out the boss, uh, the Ready Rock Cataract. Um, first things first, pay attention to those traps. You gotta save Crystal, no big deal. But here is a one time chest. And it's a sweep. It's made for Ash. Uh, attack power 88. Uh, you notice a couple of episodes ago, I stole the 8 fluted pole from the obelisk. But you get a sweep here if you wasn't able to get this. And if you don't have what I have, which is the whale whisker, at this point, that is the second best pole arm in the game. Uh, I'll be crafting the Kenya later on. So, all right, let's move forward. Take care of this guy real quick. Pharaohs at Ritterata. Now, with this boss fight looming, we got a uh, chance of stealing a corpse fly from it. An ingredient needed for the Kenya. The best pole arm in the game for Ash. So hopefully we can get it. Then there will leave but two more to get later on. And I got it. How about that? Now, Vaughn, let me uh, let you have a little fun. Let's use the. Uh, oh, excuse me. Let's use the Excalibur. And let's use White Robes along with Grand Helm. Okay? All right, Vaughn, hit him with that great sword. He's weak to holy. <laughs> there you go, Vaughn. Look at that. That's Vaughn set up basically for pretty much the remainder of the game. Now that we got him beaten. Couple of things I want to pick up, and we got our corpse fly. So two more to go for the Kenya. Now. There are some chests we can pick up here. First things first, we can pick up this chest here, which is a ruby ring. This chest has not spawned, so we're missing a chest. And this chest here is a cure moat, which we're missing another chest. So we got two more chests to spawn. One is an accessory. I'm quite sure y'all are willing to get, and I'm going to get it in just a second. Now that we can skip that cutscene, we're in the Pharaohs. First Ascent, Horizon of the First Light. But before we continue, let's go back and get those other chests I was talking about. And I think they have a 25% chance of spawning, so let's go back, try this again. Okay, they're both here. This one is Bubble Moat. And this one is what everybody wants. Uh, Berserker Bracers. So now I have two sets. And I haven't been using them lately, but, you know, focused on other things. So, now, after you beat this boss to get in here to the Pharaohs, there is 
place you can go. We're going to Necro Hall of Novelties. So, there's a magic spell you can pick up at this point in the game. So, let's go to the Deadlands, and I'll meet you at the vendor in Necro Hall of Novelties. Okay, now that we are at the vendor, all we have to do is buy my magic spell. You can buy all this here. You can buy all this. If you don't have it, you can buy it. You know what? I'm gonna buy a couple more of those anyway. Not that I need it, but just cuz. Uh, Dark Moat, Crayer Moat, but and Zuniga, right here. You can buy it now. Okay. And later on, you'll be able to buy float moats and you'll be able to buy high ethers later on. You can come back again for that, okay? Now let's get back to the Ridorana Cataract. Or the Pharaohs. Okay. Now that I'm back at Ridorana Cataract, I'm gonna end this episode here. You guys take care. See you next time.